my dear Muslim brother, sister, son and daughter. This is a very interesting topic and this topic is on Noah. Noah is mentioned in the Bible in the very first book of the Old Testament, Genesis. Noah was a friend of the Bible God. But Muhammad has written a detailed false story about Noah in the Quran. 187 verses in 28 surahs and he has dedicated a separate surah, surah 71 Nu, in the name of Noah. What was the reason? Was there any connection between Noah and the Arabs? Was there at any point in time, time any connection? No, not at all. But Muhammad had, uh, had written a detailed story about uh, the deluge also, the great deluge that happened during Noah's time which destroyed all the living beings except Noah and his family. But he had written a very, uh, an, an abominable false story about the deluge, the great deluge. And he has written it not in one, one surah but in four surahs. He has written detailed uh, false stories in four surahs. We are going to study all of them. In this study, we will be seeing the, reading the original verses from the Bible. And we will also be reading all the verses in the Quran pertaining to Noah. Please remember, the book of Genesis was written by the Bible God himself and he handed over it to Moses in 1400 BC. That means 2000 years before Muhammad was born, the book of Genesis was written and it was given to the Jews and it was a part of the Jewish Bible till Jesus was born. And after the resurrection, crucifixion, ascension, resurrection and ascension of Jesus, it became a joint property of the Christians and the Jews. But the entire Old Testament was the Bible of the Jews that everybody will acknowledge. And the book of Genesis especially was written by the Bible God himself, Yahweh. And the history of Noah is found in chapter 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of Genesis, the book of Genesis. That means the Jewish people are the owners of this book and the Christians are co-owners now. Muhammad was born in 572 AD. That is, please remember, 572 uh, years after Jesus was, Jesus was born, Muhammad was born. And he had picked up the Bible content that was in Hebrews and in other languages also. And he had picked up and he had written about Noah extensively in his Quran. Why did he do that? And if he had written the, the same story, Whatever what had been written in the Bible, if we had simply replicated, nobody nobody would have got any objection if he had given acknowledgement that I have taken it from the Bible. But he has stated that he got Vahi. Vahi means revelation. He, I got a revelation and these are all hidden hidden from you, Muhammad, and it is being told to you as Vahi, as a revelation. What was the need for a revelation? 572 years after Jesus was born. And what was, the what was the need for revelation when the book was available in Hebrew and all the langu other languages for 2000 years? At least after Jesus was born and, uh, and uh, resurrected and ascended, this was available in other, language, uh, other languages. Till that time, it was available in Hebrew. And somebody who wanted to re reproduce the Bible should have gone for only translation. What was the need for Vahi or revelation? So, at that time, nobody questioned. But right now, this is an informed world. This is an internet world. So, people cannot cheat by saying, I got Vahi. We will examine all of them. The Bible verses and the Quran verses. The Bible story about the about original story, about history, about Noah and the deluge and the false history written in the Quran. Side by side, we'll be reading. And what Muhammad had concealed in the Quran and what had been actually disclosed in the Bible, we'll be seeing. There is some, something about uh, 
uh, Genesis 9, 5 and 6 where the Bible God has specifically said you shall not spill the human blood. If you spill the human blood and the one who has done it, he will suffer the same fate. That's a mandate even now applicable for human beings. And then the Bible God gave a sign that he would not annihilate human beings or the living beings on earth through a great deluge like that. He made a covenant and the sign was rainbow. He calls it his bow. It is his bow and that is rainbow. And that has been concealed in the Quran by Muhammad. We will be reading all of them. Muhammad had stolen the Bible content on Noah and falsified it in the Quran. 28 surahs he had written and 187 verses are enumerated here. This is only illustrative. He had written a separate chapter, Quran chapter on Noah, 71 No. This is indeed the ultimate plagiarism, ultimate theft. Special report number 127. The parent report, special report 6612, Injil, the gospel of the kingdom given by Jesus. Muhammad had concealed the entire verses of Injil in his Quran. The gospel of Jesus proves that Muhammad and the Lord of the words, Satan, are one and the same. Injil versus Muhammad's Quran, a comparative analysis and research report. Surah 546, 57, 27, 510. Parent report. Parent report number 2. 6.6. 6. Jesus is the son of man and the redeemer of mankind. The son of man is also the creator of the universe. Muhammad had concealed this mystery in his Quran. What was his intention? A research report. Special report 6.6.12. Parent report. The son of God, Jesus, received his gospel of the kingdom angel from his newly created God, Allah only, says Muhammad in his Quran. Muhammad wrote the Quran 610 years after Jesus was born. But Muhammad did not narrate even a single verse from the Gospel of Jesus. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John in his Quran. An analysis of this mischievous omission. What does the Gospel of Jesus say? A true lesson to the Muslim brothers and sisters. Muhammad had casually stolen the Bible contents, falsified them and created the Quran. A special focus study on how Muhammad had stolen the Bible's Noah's history and falsified it in the Quran. Noah was a friend of the Bible God. An illustrative study. This is special report 6, 6, 12, part 7. An introduction. The Muslims who have a genuine question whether they should still follow the greatest liar Muhammad and his Quran would get the right answer through this study. We have already studied from comparative scripture analysis and found out that Muhammad had stolen the Bible content and falsified the history of Jesus, the son of God, Isa, his mother Mary, Maryam, the friend of God, Abraham, Ibrahim, the Old Testament human heroes, Moses, Musa, the most popular Jewish king, David, Dawood, his son, Solomon, Suleiman, John the Baptist, who witnessed Jesus, the son of God, Yahya, Jonah, Yunus, Jacob, Yaqobu, Isaac, Aaron, Harun, etc. But the false history written by Muhammad about the Bible's Noah is the ultimate of all. Muhammad had written Noah's history repeatedly in four surahs, namely Surah 71, 11, 23 and 26. Following table depicts a list of 28 chapters of Quran and verses in which the Bible's Noah and his history had been falsified. Surah number 71, no. Surah number 11, 23, 26, 3, 4, 6, 7. You have the number of verses here. Surah 10, 14, 17, 19, 21, 22, 25, 29, 33, 37. We have the number of verses there. Surah number 38, 40, 42, 50, 51, 53, 64, 54, 57, 66. Totally 187 verses. Not satisfied with creating a false chapter in the name of Noah, 71 No, Muhammad had kept on speaking about Noah in 27 other chapters of the Quran. He had added more falsehood by saying that his God Allah had destroyed many more generations after Noah's generation. Muhammad did not choose to write such a detailed and repeated false story against other Bible saints. Why was he so particular in falsifying the Bible Noah's history repeatedly and elaborately in this manner? We got revelation. Now, we will see that. Noah was a biblical character mentioned in the book of Genesis of the Christian Bible. The Christian, Jewish God, Jehovah himself wrote this book and handed it over to a, few, to a Jew named Moses in the year 1450 to 1400 BC. 
This book contains the history of mankind several years before the birth of Moses. The history found in Genesis is the sole property of the Jews and the Christians. Genesis has nothing to do with the Muslims or Arabs. But the Muhammad's Quran contains the name of Noah, a biblical character in the book of Genesis as a Muslim prophet. In 28 out of 114 surahs, chapters of the Quran, the Bible's Noah's name is mentioned. 45 verses in the Quran mention the name of Noah and his history directly. Many lies about Noah are mentioned in the Quran. Picking up from the Bible history of Noah and mentioning it in the Quran in this manner is called plagiarism. The meaning of plagiarism is theft. Can one holy book of a religion steal the contents of another religion in this manner? Can such stolen material be called a holy book at all? This is a question for you. Noah was among the forefathers of the son of man Jesus. This is written clearly and elaborately in the Gospel of Luke even 500 years before Muhammad was born. We have already dealt with the subject regarding the lengthy genealogy of the son of man Jesus and why Muhammad had chosen to conceal this in his Quran. No one can deny or hide the lengthy genealogy of Jesus mentioned in Luke chapter 3, 23 to 38. Let's read once again Luke chapter 3, 23 to 28. Luke chapter 3, 23. Now Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Matath, the son of Levi, the son of Milki, the son of Janna, the son of Joseph, the son of Matathia, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Elsi, the son of Nagagi, the son of Math, the son of Matathia, the son of Semai, the son of Joseph, the son of Judah, the son of Johannes, the son of Resha, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Selatiel, the son of Neri, the son of Melki, the son of Adi, the son of Kosam, the son of Elmodam, the son of Er, the son of Jos, the son of Eleazar, the son of Jorim, the son of Matat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonan, the son of Eliakim, the son of Melki, Melki, Melia, the son of Menon, the son of Matata, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salmon, the son of Nehazon, the son of Aminadab, the son of Ram, the son of Ezram, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, the son of Terah, the son of Nagor, the son of Serug, the son of Reu, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shelah, the son of Canaan, the son of Arpexad, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech. Here the, the name of Noah had come. Noah, the son of La Lamech. Lamech was the father of Noah, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalel, the son of Canaan the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. So, from Adam, it goes up to the son of man, Jesus. Son of man, Jesus. Son of man. Jesus came to the earth. Jesus is God who came to the earth as son of man, as son of Adam, who committed the sin Eden, Eden garden. And God said, when you commit this, when you eat of this, you shall surely die. Genesis 2, 17. Adam ate, God should have killed him, but he didn't kill. He didn't kill. Instead, he came on his, on his behalf as son of man, son of Adam. He came in the flesh, died for him and all his seed, for all his children, he died. He died and he rose. And the devil foolishly crucified Jesus. Crucifixion is capital punishment. Nobody can get down from the cross. So it was intentionally done to kill Jesus. But Jesus is God. He is God. Nobody could kill him. In John 10, 17 and 18, Jesus made it clear, nobody can kill me. I give my spirit and I take it back. This, this authority, I got it from my father. It's very clearly there. And Jesus told, foretold the whole thing. And accordingly, he yielded his spirit. In Matthew 23, 46, he yielded his spirit to the Father. On the third day, he resurrected. And Jesus is alive. The foolish devil crucified and killed his own creator God on the cross. Thus, his head was crushed. 
His head was crushed. The very purpose of Jesus coming to the earth was this, to pay the price of sin to the devil. How to? God, he is God. He made the devil to kill the, the creator God himself. He killed. The devil killed his own creator God. Jesus is his creator God. By killing him, he committed a sin which had no remission. So, he lost everything on the cross and Jesus rose on the third day and, and Jesus rules heaven and earth. Matthew 28, 18. All authority has been given to me under the heaven and earth. Jesus is the authority now. He is the eternal judge. Right. So, he came as son of man. And this is the genealogy of Jesus as son of man. Son of Adam. You see that? Son of Adam, the son of God. From Adam onwards, Jesus has got genealogy. There is only one person who has got the genealogy like this. So, let's, let's look at that. Muhammad had concealed the, not only the genealogy of Jesus, but also his name as son of man. He has addressed himself as son of man in 76 places in the gospel. But Muhammad did not utter Jesus as a son of man even only once. Jesus has got multiple roles. He came as a son of Abraham. He died for the sin of Abraham. He came as son of David. He died for the sin of David. He came as a son of man. He died for the sin of Adam and all his descendants. And he came as son of God. He died for God. He is God who came in the flesh and died. So this is the meaning. And Muhammad who was an illiterate, he didn't understand anything. The devil used him completely. He denied Jesus saying, Jesus was not the son of God. Surah 1935. Jesus is, was neither God nor son of God. He was only a prophet of Islam. Islam itself was formed in 610 AD. Oh my goodness. And you believe in that. You have believed in that. And God has allowed you to believe a lie. But now the very same God Jesus has risen. He wants to rescue. That's the reason why he is revealing everything. So this is the lengthy genealogy. Muhammad has concealed. But then the genealogy of Jesus, nobody can conceal because it's a matter of record. Noah's name is also found in the book of Chronicles of the Kings of the Jews in the Bible. Noah was one of the forefathers of the kings of Israel. In the earlier one, he saw Noah's name was there in the genealogy of Jesus. And here, Noah's name is found in the genealogy of the kings of Israel. Noah was not an, not an Arab. Noah was not a Nabi of Islam. Total Cheating. Total cheating. Muhammad had cheated you. <laughs> Look at that. His name is found in the, in the genealogy of Jesus. His name is found in the genealogy of the kings of Israel. And you Muslims and Arabs, you are not friends of Israel. You are not friends of Jew, the, the Jewish people. Right now the war is on. The war is on between the Jews and a section of the Muslims, Hamas. And not only, to, not only today, this has been going on from times immemorial. It's there in the Bible. It's there in the Old Testament very clearly. The Jewish people and the Palestinians had a continuous war. Who, who was Goliath? Goliath was a Palestinian, Palestine. And David killed Goliath. And, you made, and Muhammad made Goliath as uh, enemy and Dawood. David as your friend, but David was a Jew. He is a Jewish patriarch. And he has reversed the story, reversed the history, and he had told a lie, and you are believing in the lie. David was not your friend. David was on the other side. Goliath was your friend because Goliath was a Muslim equivalent Palestine. Palestine is the today's Palestinian. First Chronicle 1 1 Chronicle means. It is a chronicle of the history of the kings of Israel. Adam, Seth, Enosh. This is the this is the uh, genealogy of the of the kings of Israel. Canaan, Mahalal, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Jabeth. It has come. 
Now here also Noah's name is there. So Noah's name is there in the genealogy of Jesus as son of man and his name is also there as a forefather of the kings of Israel. He had got nothing to do with Islam or Muslims. So Muhammad had cheated you, at least you wake up now. The full history of Noah is mentioned in the book of Genesis of the Old Testament Bible. This is essentially a Jewish Bible. Lamech was the name of the father of Noah. Genesis chapter 5 gives details about the birth of Noah to Lamech. The Jewish book of Genesis was written nearly 2000 years before Muhammad was born. Muhammad had not copied the genealogy of Noah from the Bible. The Bible has revealed the name of the father of Noah and the real meaning of the name Noah. This one will comfort, comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. The book of Genesis tells us that Noah begot three sons namely Shem, Ham and Japheth. Muhammad's Quran had not narrated any of these details of history recorded in the Bible. Let's read Genesis 5, 28-32. Genesis 5, 28. Lamech lived 182 years and had a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This one will comfort us concerning our work and the toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. So this is the meaning of Noah. This one will comfort us concerning our work and the toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. Na name of Noah. After he begot Noah, Lamech lived 595 years and he had sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were 777 years and he died. Genesis 5.32 And Noah was 500 years old and Noah begot Shem, Ham and Japheth. So the three names of uh, uh, the sons of Noah are here. But Muhammad's Quran has no name. No name. Noah was a friend of the Bible God. The Bible God Yahweh described Noah in good words. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. Noah walked with God. Because of this one righteous man, the whole human race and the rest of the living creatures escaped from the great deluge. But for Noah, there would not have been any living creature living in the world now. Thus, truth, this truth had not been told by Muhammad in the Quran. Muhammad has concealed it. Genesis 6, 8, 9. Why, why did Muhammad conceal it? Because Muhammad had said his God's name was Lord of the Worlds. In 44 Quran verses, Allah has described himself Lord of the Worlds. Lord of the Worlds means devil in the Bible. Jesus has said it in John 16, 11, John 14, 30 and John 12, 31. In three verses, Jesus has said, Satan's said Satan's name is Lord of the world. So Allah and Satan are one and the same. That is the reason. That is the reason Muhammad had not had uh, Muhammad who had stolen the Bible, who has picked up the Bible content, but he has falsified it. Only the devil will do it. Otherwise, no ordinary person can touch the Bible and falsify it in this manner. Manner. Genesis 6, 8, 9. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. This is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. If you, have, if you read it in Hebrew, that's the original language in which it was written. Noah walked with God. If you read it, Noah walked with Yahweh. That would be there. God means Yahweh in the Bible. Not Allah. Muhammad had given a strange and false name Nu to the Bible Noah in the Quran. It is time the Muslims asked a question. Why did Muhammad change the 2000 year old Bible given name of Noah as Nu? And did he obtain permission from the Bible owners, namely the Jews and the Christians for writing about Noah in his Quran? The Muslims are totally unaware of the original meaning of the name Noah. We have already seen the original name of Noah. The Muslims have been made to believe a lie about their 25 prophets. In this list, Noah's name is also found in serial number 3 and his father Methuselah's name is found in serial number 4. In other words, the son's name is placed ahead of his father's name in this list. We have already learned that 24 out of the 25 so-called Islam's prophets 
or actually the names from the Bible. In other words, except the name of Muhammad, all the remaining 24 Islam prophets are actually the characters mentioned in the Bible. That means Muhammad had stolen their names. And you are 24 prophets out of 25, they are from the Bible, but you are not aware and you have been cheated. At least now you open your eyes. Number serial number 3, Nu, and serial number 4, Saleh. That means Methuselah. In brief, Noah's history and mention about him were found in 11 books and chapters of the Christian Bible. The Old Testament, that's a Jewish Bible, in five places, Genesis, 1st Chronicle, Isaiah and Ezekiel. The New Testament, Christian Bible, six places, Matthew, Luke, Hebrews, 1st chapter, 1st Peter and 2nd Peter. Actually, it is mentioned in, in uh, five books but in six places. In 2nd Peter, it is mentioned twice. Noah in the Bible, in brief, the Old Testament Jewish Bible. Please understand, this is only a brief and then we will read the entire verses, Bible verses. Genesis, Genesis chapter 5 speaks about the birth and genealogy of Noah. Lamech lived 182 years and had a son and he called his name Noah saying, This one will comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. After he begot Noah, Lamech lived 595 years and he had sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were 777 years and he died. Genesis 5, 28 to 32. 2. Genesis chapter 6 to 9 speaks about the Bible God's direct interaction with Noah. How Noah built the ark was well, first great deluge sent by God that killed and destroyed all but Noah and his family of eight. Covenant made by God with Noah and all living creatures. Rainbow and its significance as a sign of the covenant of God. Noah's death. Totally 97 verses. 3. First Chronicles chapter 1 Noah's name is also found in the book of Chronicles of the Kings of the Jews in the Bible. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Canaan, Mahalal, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham and Jabez. First Chronicles 1, 1 to 4 verses. 4. Isaiah chapter 54 The Lord God of the Bible gave a promise to Israel. So, have I sworn that I would not be angry with you nor rebuke you. In this, the Bible God had referred to the great deluge of Noah's period. Isaiah 54, 9. This is BC 700. 5. Ezekiel chapter 14. Even though Noah, Daniel and Job were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they would deliver neither son nor daughter. They would deliver only themselves by their righteousness. The Bible God, by mentioning above, had made it very clear that Noah was in his high esteem as a man of righteousness. Ezekiel 14, 14 and 20. Noah in the Bible. In brief, the New Testament, the Christian Bible. Matthew chapter number 24. The days of Noah were shown as a sign and warning to the end time generation about the coming of the Son of Man, Jesus. Matthew 24, 36 to 39. Noah's time is a sign given to the end time Christian generation and it has got nothing to do with Islam. Thus, it is apparent that connecting Noah's name with Islam is thus absurd. But of the day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriages, until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know, until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Noah has been given a, as a sign for the second coming of Jesus. Luke chapter 3. Noah has been shown as one of the forefathers of the son of man, Jesus, the son of Canaan, the son of Arpaghasa, the son of Shem, Sem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech. Luke 3, 36. Number 3. Luke chapter 17. Once again, the days of Noah had been shown as a sign for the end to come. This sign is given to the Christians and it has got nothing to do with Islam. And as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of the son of man. They ate, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Luke 17, 26 and 27. Hebrews chapter 11. In the epistle 
to the Hebrews. Noah has been listed as one of the faithful barriers among the Hebrews. Hebrews mean Jews. By faith, Noah being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became he of righteousness, which is according to faith. Hebrew 11.7 It is absurd to say that Noah had anything to do with Islam. Number 5. 1 Peter 3 speaks about the disobedient spirits of Noah's time which received the gospel from Jesus after he died and resurrected in spirit, who formerly were disobedient, when once the divine long-suffering waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared in which a few, that is eight souls, were saved through water. 1 Peter 3.20 Number 6. 2 Peter 2 is a warning to the false preachers quoting the testimony of Noah false preachers of Christianity and did not spare the ancient world but saved Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood on the world of the ungodly. Second Peter 2.5 What Noah preached is not written in the Bible but Muhammad had written reams of false story about what Noah had preached. Complete false story. He has cheated you. But the Islam's Quran, which has nothing to do with the Jewish patriarch Noah, had mentioned his name directly in 45 verses in 28 chapters and rolled out a false story. In other words, the Quran has mentioned Noah's story in 28 out of its 114 surahs, whereas his name is mentioned only in 11 out of 66 books of the Bible. The Bible is the original. Apparently, after 610 AD, that is 2000 years after the history of Noah was recorded in the Jewish Bible, Muhammad had stolen and falsified his history in the Quran and called it as Muslim's history. The Muslims and the new religion Islam created Muhammad in 610 AD had no history at all. Muhammad had, cleared, had falsified the Bible in this manner and created a false and imaginary history for the religion of Islam and Muslims. The Muslims had no book at all. Only the Christians and the Jews had their scripture named the Bible. That was when Muhammad was born. They are called the people of the book in the Quran. In order to make the Muslims also the people of the book, Muhammad had extensively falsified the Bible contents in the Quran and showed the Jewish history of the Bible as Muslim's history. The Quran verses, 45 verses containing the name of Noah of the Bible. These verses would be read out in full in the subsequent portion of this report. Muhammad had written a full chapter on Noah in the Quran, Surah number 71. This is a daring attempt to falsify the Bible. This chapter contains 28 verses. We will read all these 20, 28 verses in the subsequent paras. Muhammad had lived during the 7th century AD. He had declared in his Quran that all the popular Bible Old Testament Jewish saints were Muslim prophets only. Nabi. This is an abominable lie indeed. Muhammad had stolen the history of the Old Testament Jewish saints in this manner. In this list, we find the name of the Old Testament writer's man, Noah also. Muhammad had started his deceiving work after 610 AD, had stolen the Christian Bible characters and used them in his Quran as follows. Sample only, Muhammad had told a lie in the Quran saying that these Jewish saints mentioned in the Old Testament Bible were Muslim prophets. This includes the name of Noah, who is among the forefathers of Jesus, the Son of God. Christian Bible names used in the Quran, Isa, Jesus 23 times, Mary 32 times, Musa, Moses 195 times, David, Dawood 18 times, Saul 3 times, Goliath 3 times, Pharaoh 85 times, Israel 41 times, Jacob 18 times, Isaac 17 times, Noah 45 times in English, Adam 30 times, Jibrail 5 times, John 5 times, Torah 18, Gospel 12 times, Aaron 23 times, Solomon 23 times, Jonah 5 times, Elisha 2 times, Elijah 3 times. He has given various names, he has given different names for each one of them. Following is the list of 25 prophets of Islam. World over, Muslims believe this false list. Except the name of Muhammad and Ishmael and Chitro, all the other names are the names of the Jewish saints from the Bible. Noah's name is found in serial number 3 of this list. No new covenant saint's name is found in the list barring the name of Jesus. Can anyone steal the names of the Jewish saints of the Bible and create a new scripture? Any Muslim who cares to ask this question would escape from eternal fire. 
Adam, Idris, that, in, that means Enoch, Nuh, Noah, Saleh, Methuselah, Had, Heber, Ibrahim, Abraham, Lut, Lot, Ishmael, Ishmael, Isaac, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob, Yusuf, Joseph, Ayub, Job, Salab, Musa, Harun, Dalquif, Ezekiel, Dawood, David, Suleiman, Solomon, Elias, Elijah, Al Esa, Elisha, Yunus, Yo Jonah, Zachariah, Zechariah, Yakia, John the Baptist, Isa, Jesus, Muhammad. Now you know 24 out of 25 names are stolen from the Bible. In, a, in Surah 6, 84 to 89, Verses Muhammad had listed out the names of the Bible Jewish saints and falsely identified them as Muslim prophets. He had added a punch to his lie, saying, Those were the ones to whom we gave the scripture, wisdom, and prophethood. The name of Noah is also found in this false list. False list. Surah 684. And we blessed a shock biblical names in the order as they appear in this paragraph containing verses 84 to 86. This is written in the Quran itself, biblical names. Isaac, Jacob, Noah, David, Solomon, Job, Joseph, Moses, Aaron, Zachariah, John, Jesus, Elias, Ishmael, Elisha, Jonah and Lot and Yaqub to each we gave guidance and earlier we gave guidance to Nu, Nu and of his progeny to Dawood and Suleiman and Ayub and Yusuf and Masi and Harun and this is how we reward the good indeed. Marif ul Quran. Please understand I have not added anything. In Marif ul Quran version, it is clearly mentioned biblical names in the order as they appear in the paragraph containing verses 84 to 86. It is written in the Quran itself. Surah 86, 85 and Zechariah and John and Jesus and Elias and all were of the right to us. What is the, what is the meaning of bringing the biblical names here? Surah 6, 86 and Ishmael and Elisha and Jonah and Lot and all of them we prefer over the over the words. Please understand. Muhammad has created a false book and he has created a false call, a false God called Allah. Allah is false. So he had to create a God. To create God, he has stolen the Bible content. And as though the Bible characters as saints and writers people were all servants of this false God, false creation, Allah. So, in the subsequent paragraphs, we will study how Muhammad had, had created this false god Allah and showed him as a powerful person, powerful entity. So, by repeatedly telling about him, he had made you believe the falsehood that Allah is real, but Allah is false, Allah is imaginary. Apparently, what Muhammad had done was a crude plagiarism, a theft of the Bible. So, the Quran is undoubtedly a stolen work. Muhammad had stolen the Bible content, falsified it and gave it as a brand new Arabic holy book to the Arabs in the name of Quran. Now, the theft of Muhammad is exposed to the whole world. The Muslims all over the world remained deceived by this lie for the last 1400 years. Jesus, the son of God, had permitted this deception. Now, Jesus has come forward to rescue the Muslims from this lie and liar. That means his time has come for blessing the Muslims. That's a good news for you. In the Christian Bible, the Old Testament was an exclusive history of the Jews who are also called Israel. It was a history of the Jews written by the Jews. Even today, Christians cannot claim any ownership over the Old Testament. Just because the Old Testament is a part of their Bible, today's Christians cannot tell a lie saying that the Old Testament was a history of them, the Gentiles. To understand the warning of God and to draw the treasures, the Christians are allowed to use the Old Testament Bible. In this situation, Muhammad's claim saying the Old Testament Noah was a Muslim prophet can only be considered an absurd joke. Muhammad was an Arab who showed himself as a strong enemy of the Jews and Christians when he was alive. He killed the scores of Jews and Christians and he had written in the, in the Quran to kill the Christians and the Jews. In the Hadith he has said it very clearly, kill all the Jewish people. In the Quran he has said, do not have friendship with the Christians and the Jewish people. And again he said, kill all the people who equate God, that means Christians. He has called the Muslims to kill the Christians and he has stolen everything from the Christian Bible and the Jewish Bible. 
the old testament gall belonged to exclusively to the people of israel the jews today's gentile christians and muslims arabs were enemies of the old testament god to them the old testament god had given a name the gentiles meaning the people with no brains the old testament god had given us the gentile given us the gentiles to death till the son of god jesus yielded his spirit on the cross we the gentiles were the enemies of the bible god the old testament bible was the history of the jews given by the god of the jews and written exclusively by the jewish people in their language the hebrews today's arabs or muslims cannot touch or claim ownership of even one verse from the old testament bible as there so muhammad's false claim saying that no was a muslim prophet nabi was a fraud and theft of the highest order the bible god had not approved anyone to steal his scripture in this manner even a child in any part of the world would immediately declare the history of noah as the bible history to that extent the world is fully aware of the bible history of noah and the great deluge that annihilated all the living beings but muhammad wrote a new history about the very same bible noah 2000 years later and falsely called his history as a history of the muslims the muslims alone have been deceived by this great lie of muhammad and none else Noah's ark which he built over a period of 100 years was equally popular in the minds of the people the world also knows that Noah and his family of 8 along with the creatures that entered the ark alone were saved in the great deluge but muhammad had given a false story the whole world is anava till date then muhammad had copied and falsified the bible history of noah in the quran in this manner this includes the true owners of the bible vice versa the Jews and the Christians the Muslims do not read the bible so every muslim who happens to read the quran which contains the falsified and half baked history of noah is thus deceived now the true owner of the history of noah the god of the bible jehova yahweh he has also identified himself the first and the last in the old testament and in the new testament please understand jesus has described himself as the first and the last in four verses revelation chapter 111 117 2 8 and 22 13 in four verses jesus has called himself the first and the last in the old testament isaiah 44 6 48 12 12 48 10 48 12, 48, 12 in another verse there are three verses where the old testament god has identified himself as the first and the last jesus is the only god found in the bible in the old testament he was god and in the new testament he came in the flesh you should understand this difference the bible god is known for his changing the times and seasons constantly daniel 2:21 1 the history of the bible god creating heaven and earth and his subsequent work of creating man and woman and fall in their and their fall in the eden garden constitute the first season in the bible this season ended with the great deluge that occurred during the time of noah in the great deluge only noah's family of eight and the living creatures protected by the bible god inside noah's ark alone survived and season number 2 when they came out of noah's ark after the water subsided the second season of the bible commenced every man who came to the world after the great deluge belonged to the race of noah Season number 3 when the bible god called a man named abraham alias abram to be his and rejected the rest of mankind through his covenant with him in genesis 17:7 a new season began this is the third season in the bible this season is called the season of the is jews or israel who are also called israelite the season of israel ended when the son of god jesus who is also the king of the jews he led his spirit on the cross and died with this a new season began Season number 4 the present season is called the season of the gentiles this is the fourth season in the bible the current season belongs to every gentile including the muslims the bible god has kept heaven's doors open till now for us including the muslims but the muslims who have refused to accept the bible god the son of god jesus have no right to touch the history of noah from the bible daniel 2:21 this is the god who changes times and seasons this is bc 500 and he changes the times and the seasons he removes kings and raises up kings he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding genesis 17:7 and i will establish my covenant between me and you 
and your descendants after you in their generation for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and your descendants after you. To be God to you, Abraham, and your descendants, Israel, after you. That's all. Till Jesus, the Son of God, yielded his spirit on the cross. He was God of Israel. So, he identified himself as the king of Israel. And Jesus is called, the Old Testament God is called the king of Israel. Isaiah 44, 6, he says, I am the king of Israel. So, Jesus called himself the king of Israel. King of Israel, king of Jews, one and the same. And read John 19, 19. When they crucified him on the cross, they put a placard, Jesus the Nazarene, the king of the Jews. He was crucified for having claimed himself the king of Israel. King of Israel means God. That was the only charge made against God on which he was crucified. Go read that. King of Israel means God. Jesus has very clearly said, I am God. And you people are asking, whereas he said, I am God. King of Jews means God. God. Pilate asked, are you the king of Israel? Yes, I am the king of Israel. I am the king of the Jews, he said. And the black God cannot be denied. Jesus, Nazarene, the king of the Jews. So, you understand, Jesus is God. King of Jews, you go, go through uh, Isaiah 44, 6. The Old Testament, God has identified himself. I am the king of the Jews, the king of Israel. Now, Jesus, the son of man, is risen to rescue the Muslims who have been under deception of the devil for the past 1400 years. This is a season of salvation for the Muslims. The Muslims are going to inherit the kingdom of heaven now. To this extent, the season has changed for the Muslims alone. Muhammad, who had stolen extensively the history of the Bible's Noah, will he truthfully disclose to the Muslims that Jesus is indeed the Son of Man and also the Redeemer of mankind? To this question also, there would be a definite answer through this section. The main issue taken up through this teaching is, why did Muhammad fail to disclose to the Muslims that Jesus is the Son of Man and Redeemer of mankind? The last part of the current study will give a definite answer to this question right. To that extent, Muhammad had picked up the 2,000-year-old history of the Bible's Noah and falsified the same extensively in the Quran in 610 AD, calling it his Wahi revelation from Allah. When Muhammad was born in 572 AD, the history of Noah and the great deluge that took place in his lifetime were known to the whole world for over 2,000 years. To write about such a known person and the historical great deluge should, have, should one require knowledge of history or Wahi revelation from Allah. The time has come for the Muslims to raise this question. Muhammad, who had manipulated the 2,000-year-old Bible history of Noah, was he a truthful person or a thief of the world, or world and Bible history? If a history thief writes a book, Quran, will, he be, there, will there be any truth or holiness in it? That's a question for you. My dear Muslim brother, sister, son, daughter, this is the time you have to take a call. We have studied at, at length a lot of facts by comparing the Bible with the Quran. We have, we have found out Muhammad was not the false prophet and he was not the Messiah. And, uh, and there is nothing about him in the Bible except John 5.43. John 5.43, Jesus has said, an imposter, a fraudster is coming in my name and you will accept him. Jesus has forewarned a fraudster. Maybe that was about Muhammad. Nothing else is written about Muhammad. But he has claimed in the Quran in many verses, at least in few verses, that you will find my name in the Quran messenger's name in the Bible and we have the Bible nobody could show anything the Muslims have been searching for the last 1400 years the name of Muhammad in the Bible they tried to fix his name in the Bible how can it be it's a lie from the devil and we have also studied in through 44 Quran verses that Allah is the Lord of the worlds in the Quran Lord of the worlds means Devil. Jesus has clarified through three verses. So, 
the people of Islam that means you are obeying or following and worshiping devil so islam is a devil is islam means devil worship that is there from the quran itself we have studied from the quran we have studied and muhammad has used 44 times the word injil injil means gospel of jesus what he had to do with the gospel of jesus gospel of jesus was given to his disciple to the christian population and he has said he only gave it to jesus how can he give he was born in 572 ad so he had said that and you believe in that uh, lie and if you ask them some of your guys cheat you they see me by saying the bible had been altered all right he say bible had been altered show as the original if you have the original then you can say it is altered do you have the original ask your guys hello do you have the hello imam do you have the original they will click they are fraudsters they are fraudsters this is original it was given by the holy spirit and the holy spirit is jesus jesus is alive and he stands by every word he confirms every word of the bible we should know that the author of the bible is jesus and he is alive he is alive nobody can cheat him so this is not an altered version this is, this is the original version so if some some of your guys imam says that the bible had been altered ask them immediately ask him immediately sir politely ask him sir if you say it is it is altered the bible is altered can you show as the original do you have the original because you have seen the original and you have seen the altered version that's the reason why you are telling it is altered that fellow will run away he will not want to see your face thereafter and also ask him sir the 24 names 24 nabis of islam are in there from the bible ask him ask all your tutors again they will run away they will run away so there are multiple things we have learned jibril was not an angel he was only a only a an imposter a man maybe an adulterer so jibril was not a malak or angel and he was not a messenger not a messenger of god he was probably messenger of the devil like this we have studied and with the, with all that well the all that now we have come to this we have studied this subject on noah noah we have almost come to the end of the deception of islam almost this is the last chapter about the deception of muhammad the other chapter is that he has not said anything about the book of revelation there are 22 chapters in the book of revelation the greatest prophetic book in the world and he called himself nabi a prophet but he has not mentioned even one verse from the book of revelation of jesus that book is called the book of revelation of jesus it was written it was given in ad 90 to 96 that means 60 years 60 65 years after jesus died resurrected and ascended to heaven he came down and showed himself to john his apostle john and that is written here in the book of revelation the greatest book of prophecy and he did not it he did not mention anything there in the quran you read this book of revelation once you will know that's it i don't want to say anything beyond that so this is an opportunity for you to know the truth and jesus is so loving so loving he loves you so much he loves you so much and he, he has been telling you everything everything comparing the bible verses and quran verses and if jesus has your mark to you for heaven you will come to him sooner than later your time of salvation has come your time of salvation has come when the truth was given in the hardest manner by john the baptist that there in luke chapter 3 verses 10 onwards you go through that and the jewish people leaders the jewish people the tax collectors and the soldiers they asked him what should we do they surrendered what should we do they repented and john the baptist gave them instructions what they should do but when it came to John chapter 8 Jesus gave the truth but the Jews kept on arguing 
we are sons of Abraham. They kept on arguing. They denied and denied Jesus. They refused to accept the words of Jesus. The first one was repentant. The second one was rebellion. Those who repentant, repented survived. Those who rebelled against Jesus, they all perished. Now, do you want to rebel? In the last 1400 years, Muslims have been rebelling against Jesus. Denying Jesus is not the son of God. Rebellion. Now, Jesus has come forward to reveal the truth. Are you going to continue to rebel? Are you going to rebel now also? It's up to you. Jesus loves you so much. And if you repent, Jesus, I'm sorry. I have, I have been away from you for this many years. I'm very sorry. I have I have followed so far the devil. Now I've come to know Allah is devil and Quran was not a book, not a book from God. Now I come to know the Quran was from the devil. Jesus, Son of God, please forgive me. Please forgive my sins and accept me as your child. And at that moment, Jesus will enter your heart as Holy Spirit. You belong to you will belong to him. And you will get the peace of Jesus. John 14, 27. He says, I give my peace. And he says, he is giving his peace. That peace will come into you. That's a big blessing. And you will also inherit eternal life. Jesus is the only way to heaven. John 14, 6. I am the way, truth and life. And no one can come to my Father except through me. No one can come to heaven except through Jesus. John Matthew 16, 19. Jesus has the keys of the king, heaven, kingdom of heaven. Revelation 1, 18. Jesus has the keys of the Hades and hell. Death. He has the keys of the Hades and death. What other keys are there? No other keys. Jesus has everything. And Jesus is God. And he loves you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless you. Amen.